Hey everyone, this is the Millionaire Hippies Podcast with your host, Boom Shika, where we chat about spirituality, business, and health. We all want to live self-actualizing, fulfilling lives with joy, prosperity, and gratitude. Let's go on this beautiful journey together. Hey everyone, it's Boom Shika. Welcome back to another podcast, another episode. Today I wanted to speak to you guys about uh, something that was bothering me for the last few days and I think it's because you know uh, I'm in this place I'm in Chiang Mai right now and I'm doing all these amazing things I'm meeting all these people and then I, I see them I hear them I their stories I talk to them and I always end up feeling like I fall short in comparison to the people around me I always feel like I'm not doing enough I feel like I'm not making enough money I feel like I'm not going to see enough places I feel like I'm not eating enough delicious food. Um, you know, in any every regard, it's always whenever you compare yourself to someone else, you can always find someone who's doing more than you in some aspect, and you can always feel bad about it, or you can just be like, "Okay, I, I aspire to be like you," or, and use that as a motivation factor. In most cases, for me, obviously, I look at it and I, I tell myself, I berate myself, and say that I'm not doing enough, and I start pushing myself and pushing myself. And then eventually I burn out and then I have to restart all over again. So in this regard, I've found that as soon as I start feeling that rush, you know, that feeling that I'm not doing enough, that feeling of not being good enough, that feeling that I want to go and do more, I've started doing the complete opposite. So what I start doing at that point is that I'll slow down. I'll do a meditation session. I'll stop moving so fast. I'll stop running around and I will sit down in silence as much as possible. Because I, I think what the, the actual fact of the matter is that when this actually happens to you when, you, when you start feeling like you need to start moving really fast, I think it's a sign from the universe that you're doing too much and you need to slow down to figure out what you should be really doing with your time. For me, I always take it as a sign that I am rushing around and I'm comparing myself to other people. So I'm not really doing things that are true to me, things that are authentic to me, things that I want to do myself, my true self wants to do. But I start doing things that I, I think other people will want me to do or I start doing things that I think will make me be acceptable or popular or I do things that, you know, that are going to give me some kind of benefit that I think others will want me to have it's just something that comes from the external view rather than from internal so as soon as I start feeling that way I always have to slow down I stop myself from going crazy and I start meditating or I sit down in silence I'll stare at the walls I'll really really try to slow myself down not only physically but mentally and in that way what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to reset myself instead of pushing myself harder and harder and harder and burning out which is what my typical way of doing things would be, and then having to take a long break in order to recover, which, is, which means that you're actually pushing yourself backward instead of moving faster, I actually slow down. I take care of myself. I, I spend time with self-care uh, activities like taking a bath or take, getting a massage or getting a mani-pedi, extremely trying to slow myself down. A lot of times what I'll do, like I said, is I'll do a meditation practice. So instead of running around and making myself crazy, I'll slow down and sit down. Now, obviously this is very counterintuitive and I totally get it. It's very counterintuitive for me as well. Whenever I get this feeling that I'm not doing enough, obviously I want to do more. I want to stay up later. I want to wake up earlier. I want to take on more activities. I want to do more. But the problem with all this doing more is, again, are you actually doing activities that are moving you forward or are you just keeping yourself so busy that you don't actually think about what are the important activities for you to be doing? Because as a business owner, as a total nomad, as whatever you are and as I am, there are certain activities that are really useful to me. Uh, one of them obviously is very important, which is self-care. But that always kind of goes on the back burner when I get really, really into a project. And so I stop taking care of myself. I stop sleeping. I'll, you know, wake up early. I'll go to sleep late. Um, I'll stop eating. Um, I'll stop drinking water. I'll, I'll, I'll be really thirsty, but I'll forget that I need to, you know, drink water, and then I, and I, and then I end up getting a headache. So I'll stop doing all of those things that are necessary for me to keep on moving forward. 
self-care activities, um, writing blog posts, journaling especially, meditating. A lot of times when I'm getting really stressed out about all the different things that I should be doing, that should word comes up again, um, I stop meditating because I'm like, no, that, I don't have time to sit down and meditate, obviously, the wrong way to think. Uh, and so that's what my my tendency is to, you know, start removing all those items that are useful for me to move forward and start putting in items that are just busy work. So I'll spend a lot of time doing things that maybe will move me forward, but self-care, meditation, journaling, figuring out what I really, really want and doing the activities that are really important to me, like writing blog posts, doing these podcasts, those things are the ones that are going to move me forward. And they're actually nurturing to me. I like doing them. They make me feel good. And I don't feel like I'm rushing through them. So I really want you guys, when you're listening to this episode, to think about your own life. And when you start rushing through an item or rushing through life, and when you start feeling not good enough, when you start feeling unworthy, when you start feeling that you should be doing more, I want you to start thinking about all those activities that you're bringing into your life that are not actually moving you forward. And think about all the activities that you're taking away from your life that are actually going to move you forward. So self-care, meditation, journaling, affirmations, visualization. A lot of these activities are activities that fall away from us when we get into that mode of busy work because we think, oh no, they're not useful. And in fact, they're the most useful things you could really do every single day. I've said this before and I'm going to say, say it again. Self-care is the most important thing you can do for your business, for yourself, for your personal life, for anything that you're doing in your life. The most important thing, the first thing that you should be taking care of is yourself, your own activity, your own stuff, your journaling, your morning pages, you know, your affirmations, your meditation, all of that stuff, exercise, yoga, whatever you're doing, all of those things are the most important things before anything else. Because if you fall apart, if your health falls apart, if you're so stressed that you burn out, then your business is going to completely fall apart too because there's not going to be anyone to take care of it anymore. So I'd rather that we do little work every single day, a little bit of work every single day, uh, and do all the different things that are necessary to take care of ourselves uh, rather than do a lot over a week or two and then burn out and then have to take two or three weeks off from our business. Doing a little bit every single day, being consistent with it, is going to move your business faster forward than doing a lot over the weekend and burning yourself out. You really, really, really need to put self-care, meditation, exercise, visualize, all of those activities on the top of your list, above everything else that you're doing for your business. You have to take care of yourself. That is the most important thing you can do for your business as an entrepreneur, as a social nomad, as whatever you are calling yourself. And so, again, I'm going to repeat this. When you feel like you're wanting to be extremely productive, you want to do a lot, you want to move faster, you want to do more, you want to get rid of all of those activities like spending time with family and friends, you want to stop, remove all those connections, you want to remove, you know, fun stuff, you need to step back and slow down. Slow down. Really, really try to sit down in stillness, do a meditation practice, even if it's just five minutes, and really figure out, what is this? Why am I feeling this way? What happened that's causing me to feel this way? Did I compare myself to some guru? Did I compare myself to someone around me that's ahead of the curve? Uh, did I do something that's making me feel bad? What am I doing that's causing me to feel this way? And then figure that out, and then go back to being consistent but doing it slowly. Slowly but surely, you're going to move faster than, you know, faster and furiously. So this is, again, a strategy that I've been really utilizing in my life, especially because I'm traveling a lot at the moment. Uh, I'm in a new place. I'm living in Chiang Mai right now. Usually I'm in Toronto, but I've moved here for six months. I'm, I'm moving around a lot. I'm meeting a lot of new people. You know, all the different things I'm doing during the day is completely different all the foods I'm eating, the places I'm staying in, the coffee shops I'm going to, the people I'm um, gathering as my, my clan. So all the different things I'm doing is completely different. That's causing a lot of stress on my body and my mind because I'm an introvert and introverts like their routines. Even though I have kind of a routine here, there's a lot of stuff that's new to me and that's causing me to feel flustered. In this scenario, what I would normally do 
the old Shekha, the old boom, would run around like a crazy person and burn herself out and then spend a week or two in bed watching soap operas and, you know, just being absolutely unproductive. But what I've started doing here is instead I'm really trying to slow myself down. So I'm getting a massage. I'm um, going to a yoga class, a yin yoga class, not a power yoga, but a yin, slow yin class. I'm sitting down in a meditation practice. I'm sitting and chilling in bed, reading a book. You know, I'm getting some food and I'm just, you know, spending time being with myself, taking care of myself because I don't want to burn out. I don't want to lose two or three weeks of productive activity. i rather do very little amount of work every single day but keep on going every day in the pay at the pace that I'm going at. So I know I've kind of repeated myself a little bit, but I really wanted to kind of bring home the point that when you feel like, you know, hurrying up, you need to slow down. So I hope that this makes sense to you. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to message me anytime. Boomshaka at themillionairehippie.com or you can join my free Facebook group, The Millionaire Hippie Club. In any case, if I don't hear from you, please stay in touch in any way or keep on listening. And if you have any feedback, please, please, you know, email me or reply back to my, or come to my Facebook. Again, my name is Boomshaka and I hope that you guys have an amazing day. I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.